New, 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 new. It's a new over. New okay. Over. First up. Okay, we got this chibi clip. It's the plastic clip that goes with your chibi chip that makes it possible to clip it on to paper. You got a demo here, and I can also show it on the overhead. Yeah. The chibi chip is that blue board, and then the chibi clip is the pink, uh, the orangish plastic thing that it clips into. And then I'll show how it works. It's kind of neat. Um, focus. Hold on, focus in, yeah. So. This is the circuit board and you can program this over um, audio uh, using make code or your phone or whatever. We just have a demo that it has it basically pulsing each of these pads. These are connection pads. And then it goes into this clip and you see that the flexible PCB part um, curves over and there's like this little kind of rubbery um, gripper part. And then if you make a circuit, like for example, uh, Jelly made this cool circuit cool. with LEDs that are uh, pasted in their little sticker LEDs and this is copper tape if you take this and you line it up hold on I got this uh, there you go so um, as it blinks here these will match up because it makes these you know it actually pulses the LED um, the pin next to the LED high and low. So you can make like interactive paper art. And what's neat is that like this stuff is inexpensive, just the copper tape and, and these stickers. But then you can take this clip and remove it and re-add it later. So you can make your art and then make it electronic later. Um, you don't need to have the clip with the chip, but I think like the best way to use it is with it. So this looks, I think, pretty sweet and allows you to make really nifty um, conductive art projects. You can use copper tape, but I think you could probably also use any other conductive materials as long as um, you know it's less thick than these um, flexible pads here. Okay. You can see. Next up. Now, you know, when stuff happens in the news and then we have a new product, these are the biggest, most powerful buttons. You can install this on your desk and it could send a nice message to someone. These um, are lovely buttons. These are nice these buttons. These are friendly buttons. These are the biggest, most powerful buttons that work. They're, they're just buttons. <laughs> so this is, we actually had, we had, these are not actually not that big. They're, they're kind of small, but they're little arcade yeah, buttons. I know. And they have an um, LED in them. Focus. Okay, so um, these are arcade buttons and then these are the switch part and then there's an LED and I'm just showing you can pulse the LED on and off. It's connected here to a trinket that's just doing the PWM. And when you, um, oops, when you don't short it out by accident, um, when you want to add um, a, a fun arcade button, it's not too big. It's kind of smaller than most, it's 24 millimeters. Um, it comes with a little screw part that I removed here, but you can attach it to like pretty thick material, wood, plastic, metal. And then you can have the LED light up when you press the button or not at all. Um, but they're pretty inexpensive and, and really nice looking and it's very yeah. nice and diffused. There's two LEDs inside. Just power it with three to five volts, and uh, you got a little arcade button. So now available in green. Okay. Green is for good. Green is for good. Sometimes the color of peace. Okay. Uh, next up. Got these cool nth lights. These are flexible. These are interesting. So these LED strips are like flexible laminated material, and they have like deposits of micro LED chips inside of them. What? Yeah, they're really, this is pretty cool. So it's not super cheap, I will admit. It's, it's you know, not the le least expensive LED, but it is no. fully It sounds printed. so interesting. It can't be cheap. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. So it's printed onto this laminate. And we got this. It has a checkerboard wow. pattern. Um, and you can move so it. So it's, it's super skinny, which is one really nice thing. So it's thinner than almost anything else because it's, like, basically laminated plastic. And then there's... Um, you can see the copper oh, tape. Yeah. That's your positive and negative. So here I just have it connected to power and ground. You can give it 12 volts. Um, and you can cut it. So this has like three pieces. So like this section is one piece and then there's a little bit of a gap. You can see you can cut um, these pieces. You know, you can buy them from the company in rolls, but we decided okay, you just get about like, a, you know, about a foot worth. Um, one thing that's kind of hard to tell um, is because these are so bright there you go. They're not like perfectly uniform. So it doesn't let you get a perfect square of light. Instead, you get these little micro dots. Um, so if you want to have a, like an even light, you would diffuse it. Um, when you're really close by, you can see that these are like speckled with LEDs. They're not fully even squares. So it's something to watch for. But 
other than that, it's still like the least expensive way to get ultra skinny LEDs. This like is going to be like the light up bookmark in like the next season of Black Mirror, and it's going to be this like book that you turn into the book, and then you're in the bookmark. And then in the end, it's the it's really the, you. The is a human. It's really you, and but it's not you. It's a copy of you trapped inside of you. But yeah. you're in the bookmark. Anyway, it's like that, but it's yeah. just an LED strip. So it's kind of neat, you know. It, it's it's fully flexible. I wouldn't like bend or crack it, but you know, you you have a lot more. This is cool. Um, flexibility with. It. I think it would be good for costumes. Wearables. I think yeah, for wearables, where normally we'd use you know EL tape. If you can use this instead um, and diffuse it a little bit, I think you know this is a really nice white color. Like I like this better. White. I like this better than EL tape and panels. I don't know why I do. I just maybe I get tired of EL panels. Well, they're kind of bluish, and you have to have the inverter. You have to have the inverter. Oh, I know. I actually remember why. Because I used to answer every customer support email, and they're like, "There's something wrong with my EL panel." It goes, "Ee!" Yeah, it's like they, they all all inverters do that. This makes no sound. No, it's just except LED. for except for glee. And it's it's cool. glee. <laughs> it's uh. <laughs> It's cool to the touch, but yeah, it's it's just super skinny and flexible. So yeah. people like this. We'll get more so, variants. Here, see if you can. I'll, I'll zoom in. Well, no, you zoom. You hit the zoom. Let's see if we can make the camera go in. Yeah, we got that. You going can kind of see it. So yeah, you can see like here. Yeah. There's like you know there's there's a couple dozen micro LEDs. Yeah, this but is cool. It's not purely even, but it's still from far away. Like you can't really tell. <laughs> okay. So that's that's the nth light. Last cool but not stuff. least. The star of the show tonight. Oh, wait, can you just show this off? Uh, oh. Off? Because I actually didn't do that. So it looks oh. like this off. Oh, that's so nice. So you can see the yellow phosphor. That's cool. Anyways. Okay. Good stuff. Back to business. Uh, the star of the show tonight besides you, Lady Ada, and the community, and all the team who helps make this happen is this. We have ESP-266, sorry, the ESP-32 Feather, which we've already had, but now we have it with stacking headers, like so, already soldered in, so you are ready to rock the moment you get it. You don't have to do any soldering, just plug into a breadboard and go. And with plain headers, wow. So both types are now available in the store. Get so this. That's what we already stock. Already got this. But we maybe you're like, I don't want to stock. We've had this, you got it. You instead, you want it to come with the headers already installed. And you can have them like that, or like, like that. This. Sometimes I like that, sometimes I like that. One or sometimes the other. I just want that. Well, we have those two. But then sometimes I'm like, maybe this. Yeah, this one. Maybe that. That one. Okay, with that, Lady Ada's new products. Yeah. Done. Good work. Well, we have to do the weekend. Yeah, I know. Right. Okay. Ready? Yeah. New products. Okay, recap time. Chibi Clip goes with their Chibi Chip and lets you clip your Chibi onto paper electronics like this demonstration with some copper tape and LED stickers, so it's recyclable. Big, powerful buttons at work. Well, it's not that big. It's only 24 millimeters. It's pretty small, but it's a lovely little arcade button with green LEDs in it. Uh, it's a switch and an LED, both. Okay. And Flight makes these really cool laminated LEDs with micro LEDs in them. So it's like an LED strip, but you know, instead of having EL panel or having kind of thick, bumpy NeoPixel strips, it's perfectly flat and very flexible. So good for maybe wearables, cosplay, decorations. Okay, we've had this, but now we got this. We have the ESP32 Feather already, but now we also have it with stacking headers pre-soldered on for your Feather enjoyment. We also have, of course, the version with plain headers on it. So you want to plug into a breadboard and uh, you don't want to stack anything on top. This one is even more compact. And that is new products. Good work, Lady Ada. Yay. Okay. 